Two dogs attacked and killed two donkeys in Buncombe County, and authorities say this is not the first time the dog's owner has been in trouble because of his animals. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live from the animal shelter. Ashley, that's where the dogs were taken? That's right. This is where the dogs were taken, and the owner has come forward. But officials say that Randy Simpson has been charged with this very same thing before, and so it's unclear whether he's going to get his dogs back this time. It's just terrible. They were just pets. The Moore family woke up to discover the whole scene early this morning. They were just pets. My wife devastated because she really loved them. That one's only 10 months old over there. Phyllis is pointing to Della, her donkey. Della was part of farm day at a local school just last week. Yeah, and her neck's chewed up everything. And laying dead in the grass too nearby was Mary. She was about eight years old. They were pets. Before they even saw their animals killed in the field, the family spotted the dogs that did it. Circling the goat pen, the family says, were the two pit bulls. Jerry Moore eventually chased them off. Then animal control came, tracked them down again, and brought them back. Those the guys you saw? Yeah. Even the deputy that showed up this morning taking photos recognized the donkeys that he at one time stopped to take a different kind of snapshot of. That's so sad. I always loved coming by here and seeing that little donkey laying there. The sheriff's department says these dogs have attacked livestock before in the area, so special measures were placed on the owner to prevent this. But now for the Moors, who are animal lovers, it's taking stock of the lives that are left. I don't want to see any animal put down, but of course if they're that vicious, then something needs to be done with them. And so far, the dog's owner, Randy Simpson, has been fined about $800 for various charges. But now I talked to the Moore family this afternoon. They said they've talked to Simpson. He's incredibly sorry, incredibly devastated by what his dogs did and wants to do anything he can to make it right. Reporting live in Buncombe County, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.